Magandang araw mga bata. Ngayon ay pag-uusapan natin ng ukol sa base and exponent. First, let us give the meaning of base and exponent. When you say base, it is the repeated factor o siya yung number na inuulit-ulit na i-multiply sa kanyang sarili. And kapag sinabi nating exponent, it tells us how many times the base is used as a factor. Siya naman yung nagsasabi na kung ilang base natin ay mumultiply ang base sa kanyang sarili. Now, let us try to complete the table for us to understand more about base and exponent. So, I have here 3 given. Example, we have 2 cubed or 2 to the 3rd power. We have 4 squared or 2 to the 2nd power. And we have 5 to the 4th power or 5 raised to 4. Let us give the exponent, the base, and how do we read this number, and then the expanded form. So first, in number 1, the exponent is 3. 3 tells us how many times are we going to multiply 2 by itself. So therefore, the base is 2. This can read as 2 cubed or 2 to the third power or 2 raised to 3. Then, we can write this in expanded form as 2 times 2 times 2. The base is 2 and 3 is the exponent. So that is why we multiply 2 by itself 3 times. We have now number 2. We have second or 4 to the second power or 4 squared. The exponent is 2, the base is 4, <coughs> this is read as 4 squared or 4 to the second power, then in expanded form this is 4 times 4. The next one is 5 to the 4th power or 5 raised to 4, the exponent is 4, the base is 5, this is read uh, this is read as 5 to the 4th power or 5 raised to the 4th power or to the power of 4. And expanded form, this is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. We multiply 5 by itself 4 times. Now that we understand more about basic exponent, let us try to solve this. So as you see, I have here, give, I have here 3 examples. We have... 2 cubed, 4 squared, and 5 to the 4th power, or 5 raised to the power of 4. Now, let us try the, to solve number 1. Since our base is 2, and our exponent is 3, therefore, we must multiply 2 by itself 3 times. So, we will have 2 times 2 times 2. Let us multiply first 2 times 2. will give you 4. Then multiply it by 2. 4 times 2 is equals to 8. So that means 2 to the third power is equals to 8. Let's go now with number 2. We have 4 to the second power. We have, since our base is 4 and our exponent is 2, that means we, we need to multiply, or kailangan natin i-multiply ang 4 sa sarili niya ng dalawang beses. So you will have 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is equals to 16. Therefore, 4 to the second power or 4 squared is equals to 16. Then we have number 3, we have 5 to the fourth power or 5 raised to the power of 4. Since our base is 5 and our exponent is 4, that means we need to multiply 5 by itself 4 times. So you will have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So first, let us multiply 5 times 5 you will have 25. Then copy the rest. Next, multiply 25 times 5. You will have 125. Then copy 5. Then we have 5. Our 125 times 5 will give you 625. So therefore, 5 to the fourth power or 5 raised to the power of 4 is equals to 625. Let us have another example. Let us try to evaluate the following if y is equals to 4. 
So that means we need to substitute the value of y, which is 4. So first, we have 5y cubed, or 5 raised to the power of, or 5y raised to the power of 3. So that is 5 times, substitute the value of y, which is 4. So you will have now 4 to the third power. Let us now first multiply the number with exponent. 4, uh, 4 to the third power is 4 times 4 times 4, which is equals to 64. Then multiply it by 5. 5 times 4 is, uh, I'm sorry, 5 times 64 is equals to 320. So therefore, 5y cubed is equals to 320. Let's go now with number 2. Number 2 is equals to, or number 2 is 2y raised to 3 or 2y cubed. So if you notice, the numerical coefficient 2 and the variable are, in, are inside the parentheses. So that means we need to multiply first yung, yung 2 at saka yung value ng y before um, multiplying it to the to the third power. So we have now 2 the value of y is 4 so we have 2 times 4 raised to 3. Then multiply first 2 times 4 you will have now 8 raised to 3. 8 raised to 3 is equal to 8 times 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64 times 8 is 512. So I hope everything is clear to you. Until next time, goodbye.